In the meantime, holidays are always a major concern for terror attacks, mainly because it's happened so often, whether it's ISIS threatening the Pope, warnings about Christmas markets. We've seen it in Europe and across the globe. They're just trying to make sure it doesn't happen here. Former CIA operative Mike Baker. Mike, obviously, we're taking no chances uh, and, and we're doing everything and anything possible to make sure what happened in places uh, like uh, Belgium and, and Nice, France, and it doesn't happen here. But how do you control the, just the, the sheer size of crowds that gather? Yeah, that's the problem. And it's, it's interesting, this idea that uh, Al-Qaeda or ISIS or Boko Haram or whomever, AQAP, um, they, that they focus on, on anniversaries or holidays, big, big dates. Uh, in, in reality, you know, the, the actual statistics don't necessarily show that. You have just as many or more attacks on random dates, but the perception has been, it's developed almost into a sort of a myth that, uh, that you know, it's, it's the holidays that they focus on. Really what they're focusing on are the, the events, the, the large crowds. Uh, that's what they're, they're targeting more than, okay, we're going after Halloween, for example, the, the tragic West Side attack. Uh, you know, the, the perpetrator did it because he assumed there would be more people uh, there on the path on a Halloween. Uh, but what can you do? How do we, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, the general public uh, will see the additional security. As Mike Tobin pointed out at the beginning, you know, the additional security that we'll see at the airports. It's not based on specific threat information, uh, but typically when you get these large gatherings or when you get the public spaces like the airports, the train stations, those things, around the holidays, around the big events, you'll see this additional security. But what can the public do? Well, the public can do really very little other than increase their public their, their, their awareness of their surroundings on these events or when they go to specific areas. If you're traveling to the airport or you're traveling to a large mall or you're going to a large public gathering, the parade, for instance, just raise your alertness a little bit. That's all you can do. You can't walk around in a high state of alert. You can't do that in a war well, what zone does that constantly 24-7. Raise your alertness, mm -hmm. or if you see something, say something, which you and I have discussed in this city in New York. Of course, everything would warn mm -hmm. saying something. But uh, the, 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 when you're, you're looking at, 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 at fellow parade watchers, let's say, what, are, mm -hmm. what do you have to be keeping a sharp eye out for? Right, it's a great question because, uh, again, you're, you're right. It becomes trite when you say, you know, raise your alertness. But what, what can you do? Okay, well, if you go out to a place like a, a parade uh, with your family or your friends, have a, you know, take, take a minute and have a plan. What do we do if something kicks off? What do we do if there's a, if there's a crisis of some sort of an attack? You know, how do, we, how do we get out of here? Look for an escape route in the sense of if you're in a building, look for where the exits are. If you go into a, a cinema or you go into, I mean, nowadays, unfortunately, even a church, but a yeah. large mall, know where the exits are. Think it, take 10 seconds to figure out what you would do in case something happens. And then be aware of, of the people around you. If it's a, a hot summer's day and someone walks by and they're wearing a trench coat, that's going to make you think that's odd. Well, f listen to that. Most people's intuition is it's actually pretty good. Good. And so what, then what do you do? Well, you, you, you alert the authorities nearby, and then you, you get off the X. You move, and you, and you tell other people, move. I think there's a problem here. But, you yeah. know, obviously, you can't be paranoid, but you can do that much. You can do a little bit, but then you got to just stay busy living and realize that the authorities are out there 24-7, and most of the security you don't see. But there's a reason why we haven't suffered major attacks in this country. It's not just luck. It's because of the work that goes on by the intel, the law enforcement, and others nonstop to try to keep us safe. Yeah, well put, Mike. Thank you. Have a great Thanksgiving yourself. I appreciate it. You too, Neil. Happy Thanksgiving.